to see how to install a IIS server. So to do that, uh, first you click on server manager. And click on manage. And click add roles. Click next. Click next. Again click next. And here scroll down and select uh, web server IIS. Click next, next, next. So this will show what all the components is going to install. So if you want additional components, you can select that, like HTTP redirection. IIS client server authentication. Basic authentication. All this you can select if you want. FTP service if you want to enable. Over here and click next, click install. So, this will install the IS server on this uh, server. So, basically, IS is a web server uh, where you can host your web applications and publish it uh, to the environment. FTP server is place where uh, you can share the files and uh, using the FTP protocol uh, you can transfer files from one server to the other. So the installation is going on. This is the IS management console. You see here, uh, this is the tool with which uh, you will manage the IS uh, settings and uh, various IS uh, related uh, features. So we will wait for the installation to complete and uh, once it's done uh, we will check at the IS console how it looks like. Installation succeeded, so we can close it and close the server manager. Now click and start. The down arrow and scroll to the right for. Uh, IS Java. Yeah, here it is. So we have installed the IS Java 8, uh, which is default with Windows 2012. And uh, this is the hierarchy. So you can configure various settings of IS and FTP here and you can start and stop the server. If you want to stop the server, right click stop. If 
you want to start this all right click start i hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching